Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. In the last episode we were going around Freedom's Progress, found our old buddy Tully and some other Quarians who were looking for a different Quarian named Vitor, which apparently is uh, behind the store, so let's open the store. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Everything's fine now. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Maybe we should switch out the screen. Protect. Swarms come. <laughs> Human? Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Well, we weren't here. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Yes, thank you, Vito, for cooperating and for finding everything out. That was very helpful. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Um, why aren't we going just together, Tali? I mean, we're good friends, right? You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Alright, I can respect that. But Vito goes with Tali. If he knows something, and uh, if, if uh, something shows up, I'm sure Tali will send us the information. I trust her. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. 
Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. <sighs> Yet you don't seem surprised at all. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. <sighs> What's with this unmapped o Omega-4 relay? Why is it not mapped? It's... Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Mm, what sort of transactions do they usually do? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I sort of agree, but I can't do it alone, even with Miranda and Jacob. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Mm, you know, I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Really? So what's with Liara? Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Hmm. What's with Tali? We, al we already met her. What about Tali? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Mm, Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Mm, right. What's with Caden? Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. And Garrus? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Uh, that doesn't... that's not... that's not nice. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm also a Spectre. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, 
you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Right. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. <sighs> Alright, and what else? Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Welcome back, Joker. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Honey on home. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? Indeed. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Yeah, we're very creative. Again, collectors confirm the source of attacks and freedom progress. Uh, Quarian survivor Vito will return with Talizora to the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omni tool data for anything useful. We found some research on heavy weapon ammo, so we have a higher heavy weapon ammo capacity. If we recruit a scientist to actually research it, of course, we found some money, some iridium, and we can close stuff now. I just love that scene when the when the Normandy SR2 just leaves that hangar. It's it's very beautiful. I mean, it's a very nice ship. Nice music, always helps. Aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. That's a very valid point, Miranda. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. <clears throat> oh, Joker will love this. He always loved uh, artificial intelligence uh, on, on, on board his ships. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. 
I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Uh, I guess there's more people around, so... I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Um, Jacob, we're not in the military. No need to salute me. Private terminal. Use the private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Armory. Select weapons from your squad from the armory. Elevator. Use the elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Captain's quarters. Go to your personal cab cabin to customize your appearance. Yeah, already done that. Tech lab. Acquire the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. So, we even have our ship back. Isn't that really nice? Yeah. The ship looks a little bit differently. Uh, it's it's a lot larger than the original Normandy was, but we'll probably discuss this with some other people. And the layout is a little bit different, but not too much. So let's check our private terminal where we can check what sort of what's the team status, what's the upgrades, but the most important thing here is the unread messages, so we can read if we get new email or messages, whatever. Message from Anderson, from Council Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot, a lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what you have been, what we've been hearing. Right, so... Anderson sent us a message, so let's go around the ship first, I guess. Let's have some discussions with our crew members and t check stuff out, like the controls. Sadly, we don't get experience anymore for finding code and en entries, but it's always fun for some code up uh, for some codex information. So let's talk to Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby, better than new. It fits me like a glove and leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Yeah, I guess it doesn't bring the old Normandy back. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you are such a downer. <laughs> uh, let's talk to the ship intelligence. Yes, Shepard. Um, what's in this room? What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> so what's with you? I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What's your, what's your job? Why, why do we need a f artificial intelligence on, on the ship? I mean, we could use the old Normandy just without artificial intelligences. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Ah, uh, yes. Additional functions. Interesting. I suppose you can't go into that? Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Huh. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, 
I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Well, that's actually impressive. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, Joker. So you have also monitoring devices? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Right, let's talk on something else. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Mm, can you tell me something more about Cerberus? I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What did... Tell me something about the building of the Normandy. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus' levels of secret classification. Right. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Mm, I, 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 see, uh, I see the problem there. So I guess that's everything for now. Thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Right, the time is already up, but, well, we didn't do much, we, we were just talking with people and planning our next move, so in the next episode I guess there's going to be more of that, because we'll have to get to know our ship better and go around, talk with people and stuff like that, so I'll see you and at the next episode, bye bye!